Hi guys, Paul here at Radio Shop Pickups in South Wales and welcome to part two of a series of videos on how to solder for guitarists. So in this video I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you how to solder a capacitor to the top of a potentiometer or a pot and I'm also going to show you how to solder a wire, a black wire here, ground wire to the top of a pot. So I'm going to start with the easier job, which is this one here. Okay. Now what we're going to do now, if you've enjoyed watching these videos, then please hit subscribe below and you can see these and other how to videos. Now what we're going to do to start off with is going to use this sort of scribe. Now, if you've got a sort of disused sort of small screwdriver, you can just use that as well. And we're going to just score that in a circular fashion over there to make a really good joint. And I've just got my sponge a little bit out of here, but I'm going to clean my sponge as I go and get my solder. And what I'm going to do here now, make sure I've got enough distance to work with. I'm just going to get some solder onto my tip. Okay, and then I'm going to tin. So we've tinned both components that we're joining first. And I showed you in quite a bit of depth, really tinning in the first part of this video. I'm going to take this wire here and again to tin this wire I'm going to put, ooh, I'll clean it, I like to clean it between. I'm just going to put a little bit of solder onto the tip and then put the tip up against the wire that I'm tinning and add solder to the wire rather than adding to the tip. So you've actually got the tip the wire that you're soldering in between the tip and the solder. So you're adding solder like that. Okay. I'm going to take the wire that I'm looking to join to there, lay it across there, then melt that there. Now that actually is a good enough joint. Okay. But I like a slightly stronger joint than that. And a good successful joint is a really sort of shiny one. Okay. Now, what you'll find with soldering, always the problem is now, as soon as I reheat this, probably that wire is going to want to move. So I'm just adding some to the top and wait for it to move because it will. Oh, I'm unlucky on this occasion. Oh, there you are. So it has moved. Now, I've actually got enough solder there now to press that down, reheat, and press it down. And I've got a good joint, but I'm going to add a tiny bit more. So I've got a nice shiny joint there, which is like a sort of semi spherical sort of shapery. Okay, so that's that one done. So that's the easier one done. Now we're going to look at this one, which I'm looking to join. I'm going to have to just get the legs and do that. And this is for a loaded guard for one of our customers. He's actually sending me a gold anodized pickup, which is going to look really cool. And so this is just a harness that I use to do wiring. And when he sends me that guard, then I'll put that all of our stuff and our set of our Chris Buck 57 pickups into the guard for him. So that's what I'm looking to do. And I'm going to need to trim the legs. Okay. So I'll just take that out because there's no point soldering these in and then looking to trim them. You're never going to get a really neat job if you do that. So that should be about right the place. And I'll do it on the next one. If you just observe by how much I've gone close to the sort of stem of the leg, I'm just going to offer that up now. Now again, so that, that should be perfect really. Okay. Cause it's going to stick through the leg. And it's going to be there as well on top of the pot in the place where I want it to go. Now, again, I'm going to score it in a circular fashion here. And we're going to tin that again. We're going to tin both components first. Okay. So let's just clean that a little bit of solder on the tip and then a little bit on where I've scored and that's fine. Okay. And this is a little bit trickier, but I'm going to tin the leg a little bit, not much. Well, this is a, something which I like to do 
I like to get that between, say, two fingers that I'm not using, kink it a little bit. It's pretty tricky, but you, you know, you can get the hang of it. I call it crab claws technique, really. I'll tin that there. You, know, you can just sort of lay the potentiometer down, so, sorry, the capacitor down somewhere and try and tin it like that, but it will tend to move around. But obviously, I do these loaded pick guards for a living, really, so I've developed little techniques over the years of doing them. I'll offer that up. And I might be in the way of you being able to see, but I kind of need to be. I'm just reheating the solder by the leg, and there it's on. But obviously, that's not a great joint. The problem you've got here with the capacitor now, because I'm going to want to add some more solder, and the capacitor is going to want to move. And it will move. So I'm just going to add some there. And look to hold the capacitor when we've got the transfer of heat. Okay. Now, capacitor is strong enough actually, the legs are strong enough for me to now move it and bend it into place. The lug there isn't quite where I want it to be so I'm going to pull that out just a tad and then what I can do here now is put some solder into that lug. Now I'm going to end up with two wires coming out of that lug so there's always it's always quite a tricky one so you can either decide to fill the lug now or put the wire in first, tin the wire that you're putting in then add the solder to that leg, or you can try and thread it through. I'm going to go through the thread through technique, really, whereby oh, you get that out. I'm now going to fill the leg with solder. Okay, because of course that helps me then with holding it in place. And that means I can now go back to this joint, add a little bit of solder without that moving, create a really good sort of pool of solder like that. And then I can have another little go at the leg because I'm then going to put a white one, but I've got a black one to show you. I'm going to solder into there as well. Okay, so that was how to solder to the top of a, of a pot and also solder a capacitor to the top of a pot. So thanks for watching this part two. In part three, I'm going to be looking at the switch. So thanks for watching. See you then.